Welcome to Flourish in Math class. Our topic today is solving sort equations. Please check my video on introduction to sort if you haven't done so. Solve for y in this equation. 5 the cube root of y to the power of 4 equal 80. The first step here is to divide both sides of the equation by 5. So we divide both sides by 5. Then we have 80 divides 5 gives you 16. So now we have the cube root of y to the power of 4 equals 16. What we have done here is to divide both sides of the equation by 5. So to write an exponential notation, this becomes y to the power of 4 all to the power of 1 over 3 because it's cube root and that is equal to 16. And so this becomes y to the power of 4 multiplied by 1 over 3 is 4 over 3. Then equal, we can write 16 in exponential notation and that is 2 to the power of 4. The next step is to simplify the exponent. So what we do is to multiply the power 4 over 3 by 3 over 4. That is the reciprocal. So we do that on both sides. So we have 2 to the power of 4 then multiply by 3 over 4. And what we have simply done is we want to get rid of the 4 over 3 here. So we want to make it 1 and that's why we are multiplied by the inverse. So now we have 3 divides 3, 1, 4 divides 4, 1. Okay, and here 4 divides 4, 1. So now we have y to the power of 1, right? equal 2 to the power of 3. y to the power of 1 is the same as y and 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and that is 8. So that means that the value of y here to satisfy this equation is y equal 8. So here, I'm just going to repeat the question. x minus 4 root x plus 3 equals 0. So the first step here is to rearrange. We have x plus 3 equal 4 root x. So the next step here is to square both sides. So we have x plus 3 square equal 4 root x all square. And this becomes x plus 3 x plus 3 multiply and here this simply means 4 square multiplied by root x all squared that is what this means okay and remember that square will always cancel square roots so we have this to be 4 square is 16 and that is x so we have 16 x so we expand this remember that this x multiplies this x so we have x squared and x here multiplies plus 3 we have plus 3x 
3 here multiplies this x again we have plus 3x and 3 multiplies 3 we have plus 9 and that is equal to 16x and this becomes x squared 3x plus 3x is plus 6x then plus 9 equal 16x so we collect like terms we have x squared plus 6x then minus this comes inside to become minus 16x then plus 9 equal nothing that is 0 so we have x squared plus 6x minus 16x is negative 10x plus 9 equal 0 now the next step is to factorize so we have x squared minus 10x plus 9 equals 0 please um take your time to check my video on factorization of quadratic equation to learn this okay so here i just multiply the x squared by the constant so I have plus 9x squared. So what is that number when I multiply together gives me plus 9x squared. And when I had a subtract, it gives me negative 10x. So that would be negative 9x and negative x. Okay, so I'm going to substitute this back into negative 10x. So I have x squared minus 9x minus x plus 9 equal 0. Okay, because negative 9x negative x is negative 10x. So nothing has really changed. So we factorize how we have x bracket x minus 9 minus 1 x minus 9 equals 0 so we have x minus 1 x minus 9 equals 0 so this implies that x minus 1 equals 0 or x minus 9 equals 0 and this simply means x equals 1 or the first step here is to rearrange. Remember to rearrange so that the sword is on the positive side. Okay, so we have negative 5, negative 9 comes inside to become positive 9, then equal this goes outside, like goes on the other side of the equation to become positive root y minus 4 positive 4 equal root y minus 4 4 square equal square root of y minus 4 all square but remember that square cancels square root so 4 squared, which is 16, equal y minus 4. Negative 4 goes on the left-hand side to become positive. So we have 16 plus 4 equal y. This implies that 20 equal y. And that means y is 20 so we're going to substitute y equal 20 in the equation so we have negative root 20 minus 4 minus 5 okay so this would be negative square root of 16 minus 5 square root of 16 is 4 
and we have negative 4, negative 5, with the right answer. The first step is to rearrange. Remember to put the sword on the positive side. So we have negative 2x plus 4 plus 4x. Okay, we've brought this in. Okay, plus 4x equal, then we take this out on the other side, the right hand side. So we have positive 9 root x. Okay, negative 2x plus 4x is 2x. Okay, plus 4 equal 9 root x. The next step here is to square both sides. So to square both sides, we have 2x plus 4 all squared equal 9 root x all squared. And remember that this means f multiplied by root of x squared. Okay? And square cancel square root, okay? So we have 2x plus 4 multiplied by 2x plus 4 equal 81 because 9 square is 81. So that's 81x. So now we expand. We have 2x multiplied by 2x we have 4x square 2x multiplied by plus 4 we have plus 8x 4 multiplied by 2x we have plus 8x and 4 multiplied by plus 4 we have plus 16 and that is equal to 81x and this gives us 4x squared plus 8x plus 8x is 16x plus 16 equal 81x. So we call it like terms. We have 4x squared plus 16x minus 81x plus 16 equals 0. Now we have 4x squared plus 16x minus 81x is negative 65x then 16 equals 0 so now we factorize so we multiply 4x squared by plus 16 that gives us plus 64x squared so what are those two factors when we multiply them together? We have 64x squared. And when we had a subtract, we have negative 65. And that would be negative 64x and negative x. So we substitute that back into the equation. So we have 4x squared, negative 64x, negative x, plus 16 equals 0. So here we have it to be, when you factorize, you have 4x, x minus 16, negative 1, x minus 16 equals 0. And x minus 16 equals 0. So this implies 4x minus 1 equals 0 or x minus 16 equals 0. And this means x is 1 over 4 and also x is 16. Homework. I have five questions here for you to answer. Please do them in your notebook and have someone supervise it for you. But please note, remember to check your answers by substituting your value into the original equation. 
to be sure that your answer satisfies each of the questions. Thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I hope to see you in my next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. Thank you and bye for now.